summer nights can even turn cold In the streets of Philly when niggas don't even get to turn old My heart pumping to a turn gold You niggas stuck in loops and riding like fuck it, it's a long road Shit, I'm the one, I'm like the lost soul What's good, y'all? It's your main man, Daquan, and I'm back with another video for y'all. And in this video, we're going to be showing y'all how to do one of the most easiest, unstoppable moves in 2K22. How to push people in 2K22. Now, this is what the move is going to look like. It's not no 2K19 push. We're actually scoring after we're pushing them out the way. Look, bop, under the paint, nowhere in sight. This is how you do the move. You just post up and then you run at them basically but you start off holding l2 and then r2 which is the turbo and then l3 pointing the stick if they're in the paint in between you and the basket you want to run as far away as the baseline as possible because then it's going to make you do a spin move so basically try to point your stick at them but more at an angle and then without someone in front of you it's going to look like that just a post cheese basically and you can do it either way of your hand so say they were under the basket you can push them under the basket or under the baseline but with someone on you this is what it's gonna look like just like we showed in the intro we're just pushing them out the way I'm on my shooting guard by the way I do it on my big man my 73 my 610 my 68 I do this on every single build when I'm in the paint bro this shit works like a charm look Giannis push that man under the baseline now when there is someone bigger and you're smaller than them you will get animations where it won't continue all the way but you can still go up as long as that animation triggers this shit is glitchy look in game look you'll be barely be able to see it right here but look it triggered we'll slow it down as long as you get that animation where it looks like you're about to push them bop look make that contact looks like we're gonna push them doesn't continue the animation all the way we still put that thing up but again that's again someone bigger it doesn't do that all the time you'll still be able to get those big body animations if they are bigger than you but say you're bigger than them it's a wrap i don't even got back down punisher and you don't even need back down punisher if you're taller than them or just shorter or have a little bit of weight on you you should be good and be able to hit this move consistently say you're like 160 or something then don't expect too much out of this move but if you are a big man somewhere above six five or something feel free to put this in your bag now i will say on my six eight it does feel like i have more control in the post but i've just noticed on my big man the smaller i get from six eight to six ten to seven three the bottom two the six ten and the six eight i do dunk the ball a little bit faster it's a little bit easier to control when i go up seven threes it just feels like everything is slow so be cautious of if you are on the 73 side of big man or 7271 they may be able to jump still after you push them out the way but you can still control what you do you don't have to go up but do be cautious of that they can jump sometimes but other than that these are free baskets in the point in the post look my man's look pretty tall that don't matter though you still getting pushed near the baseline i know all y'all players be liking to make your weight small guess what we're gonna take advantage of that again we don't even need any back down punisher or anything they're really the only two badges i'd recommend fast twitch and rise up on my 6 8 shooting guard I only use bronze rise up and i think like gold fast twitch or something like that i could be wrong i think hall of fame gold or hall of fame one of those but those are only the two badges you need and maybe a good dunk package i i am reviewing some dunk packages for standard dunks so stay tuned for the next couple of days look out for those i know i haven't been posting too much but trust me we got something big coming on coming on the channel so again just stay tuned back to the move though you don't always have to go up straight after you do the move you can always use it for positioning you could be a distraction get your teammates wide open because trust me they gonna help even on my shooting guard they see a shooting guard at the one or two position they still gonna help in the paint paint defense is already bad enough in this game at a move like this what are we doing what are we doing look seven three again what are you doing against a seven three when you make these little ass dudes in the park bruh stop it 